What's wrong, Jude? Dad, Ernie's crying. Oh? He's pretending not to, but I can tell. Well. I didn't say anything rotten or hit him or anything, Dad. No, I know you didn't, Jimmy. It's kind of chilly. Why don't you climb in my bed for a minute? I'll go talk to him. Ernie? Yes, sir? Ernie, uh, when you leave here tomorrow, you don't think we're just going to let you disappear, do you? I mean, we'll be seeing you. After all, you won't be very far away because, uh, well, you'll be in the county, and the county isn't very big, is it? No. You know, Ernie, we're never really alone, even though it seems that way sometimes. We all have friends who remember us and who think about us. And you have a lot of friends, Ernie. You have uh, Uncle Charlie and Robbie and Chip and me and uh, Tramp and Wilson. Uh, and you have a lot of friends in school. Why, well, but you know all kinds of kids who miss you when you're absent for one day. Yeah, I guess. And uh, your teachers? And Mr. Bassner in the gym. You know, Ernie, you're just a young fellow, but you made all these friends already. Did you ever think of that? No. And how about my clarinet teacher? Sure, your clarinet teacher. And Mike and Sally, huh? Yeah, and when they have kids, I'll have all them for friends. Yeah, yeah. And uh, don't forget, Ernie, when things get rough, uh, you always have a friend you can pray to. Oh, I already did that. Oh, you did? I pray for you to come in here. And, Ernie, that's the nicest compliment I ever had. Why don't you lie down and go to sleep, all right? Yes, sir. Good night, Ernie. Mr. Douglas? Yeah, Ernie. Would it be baby if I asked you to stay in here for a while? I mean, just till I go to sleep. <laughs> no, it wouldn't be baby at all, Ernie. I'll be right here. Good night, Mr. Douglas. Good night, Ernie. 